Hey guys, what is up? My name is Melhead Lee and welcome to some more Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary. So this is some Gun Master on Donya Fortress. Um, so this, um, this was the first time I think I played this game. I may be wrong, this might be one of the second matches. Um, but anyway, I really like this game mode actually, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like gun game in Black Ops. Um, you advance through weapons, the only difference being is with this is you need to get two kills with each gun. Um, or weapon to progress to the next one and I really like this, it was a lot of fun I actually didn't do too bad in this match, I think I came third at the end um, and yeah basically um, today's topic or video what I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about a few things hopefully but one of the first things is Basically, since I've been playing Battlefield 3, I've kind of seen how good the theater feature is in Black Ops 2. I mean, it makes you, I guess, lazy. If that's not, it's not really the right word, but it, it kind of makes you a little bit lazy. Because um, Black Ops, you can pretty much play 10 games and then go into theater and record your best ones back in without playing. Um, it takes a bit of the pressure, I guess, off from playing live, um, which is what you have to do with Battlefield 3. And I found that I haven't been able to get really good games and when I'm recording at the same time so I guess I kind of feel a little bit more pressure um, and I guess stress is not not a really good way to describe it either but I guess that's um, what it is um, I'm more pressured to get a good game you know I get a lot of kills to so make it interesting for you, for you guys to watch because it, it is for YouTube it's for people's entertainment and I guess the good thing about Black Ops uh, is that you can play maybe 10 games as I said uh, pick the best maybe two or three and even do a montage of them all together and um, the best bits and um, battlefield is a little more hard but obviously because you have to do it all live um, but that's really the first thing I want to hit on really not really an important topic um, but it's something I've noticed playing Battlefield 3 again so I haven't even touched Black Ops since playing Battlefield 3 I'm really liking Battlefield 3 at the minute so I um, expect more gameplays of that coming up um, I am going to be doing a series very soon um, for it'll probably be a mixture of Black Ops and Battlefield 3 gameplay and uh, basically it will be um, tips for starting out on YouTube um, so that'll be hopefully starting the next week or so um, I need to get a few notes written down I want to I want to make the series as um, I guess what's the word um, god damn I can't think of the word I guess um, as formatted as possible um, I want everything in order I want to start at the very beginning you know from making an account choosing your username and find what content you're going to be doing I want to start at the very beginning um, and work my way up until you know getting partnered and uh, making the most out of um, advertising and social networking stuff like that so I'm going to be doing that in the next week or so and obviously I know I'm not the expert in all this I mean I don't have a massively um, popular or successful channel but these are things that I guess I've picked up over the past year or so that I've been on YouTube things that I would do if I was making a new if I had to make a new gaming channel things that I would do to I guess make the process a little bit easier uh, none of these tips that I'll be giving will guarantee you know success and um, it's just things that you know, you may not have known about YouTube if you're new if this is your first channel you're making you know just things that'll help you basically be a beginner get started on YouTube you know what they'll I'll go over all the I guess technical terms, you know, what a partnership is, stuff uh, like copyright, what you can uh, monetize, what you can't. And uh, I'll go into that stuff and I'll cover stuff like making thumbnails, um, good video titles, tags, stuff like that. Just basically everything you need to know about um, getting your videos on YouTube and uh, making them as, I guess, attractive as possible for viewers. Um, so that'll be coming up in the next few weeks, I think. Um, just depends what um, other things and what other games I'm doing. Um, but yeah, Walking Dead finished. You should all have mentioned that so many times in the last couple of videos. But finished that the best game I've ever played in a long time, I have to say. Um, it's, I actually think it's probably my favourite game for story. I mean, I love the game so much. And um, so I'm sad to see it finished. But I'm also really glad that I did finish it and see the end, ending and all. But um, the way it ended, if you haven't watched it, it'll be up. Um, I don't think the ending's up yet. I think it is up in a few days time maybe but basically the way it ends is uh, I'm not spoiled but I suggest there's going to be another game a sequel to it so I'm really looking forward to that there's a new Walking Dead coming out in March I think it's by Activision and um, it's called what is it called I think it's Survival Instinct and um, basically it's not following on from Telltale Games it's nothing to do with it it's a separate game and it's basically following the story of Daryl and Merle Dixon and if you watch the TV show which I have um, then you'll recognize them two characters from that. You're basically following their story before, I think there's before the TV show, 
Um, so they're two pretty badasses in the TV show. Um, Darl especially, he's one of the guys that um, always puts himself forward to do the gritty stuff. And always, he's not afraid to say what he thinks. And so I think that game will be interesting. I'll definitely be playing it. Um, I don't think it'll be good stories wise, just because it's going to be a. I'm pretty sure it's a first person shooter, and they're using not as story based. They're more you know into gameplay and I guess action scenes. But um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to play it definitely. Um, I think it's out the 22nd of March or something, is it, or end of March? So I'll be getting that Bioshock Influence coming out around that time as well. Be getting that definitely. I'm really looking forward to that game. Bioshock's one of my favorite game series. Um, so I'll be doing a let's play of that. Um, probably I'll be getting it on PC, I'm pretty sure. Um, what else? There's another game. Uh, what's it called? I think... I pre-ordered Resident Evil 6. I don't know if I'll do a let's play of it or not. Uh, it was down in price on Steam. It was not that expensive, so I got it. And there's a few pre-ordered bonuses too. Um, you get... I think it's the soundtrack is the first bonus. And then if enough people uh, pre-order it, you get, I think, Resident Evil 5 free. And if another certain amount of people pre ordered you get something else I think um, it's an end game bonus or something I'm not sure look it up in Steam you can see that um, but yeah I'm enjoying playing Battlefield 3 at the minute I haven't played Black Ops 2 um, there's rumours of new, new DLC dropping out soon um, so I probably will go back into it do the same again that I did with the Revolution maps for it and end game is also coming out for Battlefield 3 so I'll try and get some videos up for that because it's the first DLC that's actually dropping while I'm actually playing the game so that'll be interesting to play that and I'm actually really enjoying premium as well. Um, it's really worth it, I have to say. Uh, it's expensive, I know. It's the same price as um, Season Pass for Black Ops 2, roughly. I think it is. It's 4,000 Microsoft points, which seems a lot. But compared to um, Season Pass for Black Ops, I think it's really worth it. Um, this is another thing I want to get into a little bit. Um, is Black Ops DLC really worth it? Any Call of Duty DLC, I mean, it's 4,000. I may be wrong. I think they're both the same price for Battlefield Premium and the Season Pass, which gets you all the DLC, so it's pretty much the same. Um, premium, you get all the maps, you get two weeks early access, you get double XP events, you get dog tags, you get um, camos, is it, um, for your soldier. You get, what else? You get more maps, pretty much you get 20 maps all together once they'll be all released. Um, and if you compare it to Black Ops 2, I mean, you get, I mean, four maps and a zombies map and a gun, and that's pretty much it, that's all you get. Um, you do obviously get double experience for a week or whatever, was it a weekend or something? Um, so compare them both together, it's not great. I think there's four DLCs coming out for Black Ops, is there? And I think there's five for Battlefield 3, and you compare them both together, same price, I think you get a lot more with Battlefield 3. More maps, you get um, dog tags, you get uh, double experience events, you get two weeks early access, which is really good. Um, and I think it's something that they should have done on Season Pass for Black Ops 2 if you get it. Because um, yeah, it's expensive to buy a Season Pass. Um, and not a lot of people can afford it. So I think it would have been a good idea if they had to give maybe early access or maybe a week's double experience or something for people to get it. When each of the new DLCs drop. Um, and that's really it. Um, I don't know what else I want to talk about. But I'm still looking for suggestions for topics guys. Um, I got a few suggestions that I will try and do the next while. My Black Ops 2 classes. I'll be doing videos for them. And my preferred Battlefield 3 classes. Um, so I'll be trying to do them in a little while. Just my personal classes. What I use. My weapon setup. And stuff like that. So I'll try and do that. Um, I'll also be doing as I said the YouTube tips series. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing that, I'll see how it turns out, the first few videos, if I'm going to upload them or not. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert at this, I just basically, I'm uploading my own thoughts and my own experience from YouTube, things I would do differently, and that's pretty much it. Um, what else? Um, yeah, Dead Space 3, I want to do a Let's Play that, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. I haven't even bought the game yet, and there's so many people doing Let's Plays of it, I don't know if I should do it or not so comment below guys should i do let dead space 3 any other new games coming out or that's been out already that i haven't done or covered that you want to see me do um and yeah as i said black um can't speak battlefield 3 i'm really enjoying it at the minute so if you want to come join me in game um, i've got my astroway 40s now with the mic i'm loving them um so i can chat to you guys in party chat or in game chat i really like to play um with friends again basically with subscribers because I must stop with Xbox, I haven't played with any like in a party for a long, long time. Um, it used to be before when I was in school with no friends and stuff, I would join parties and play Black Ops. I think it was probably Modern Warfare 2 was the one I played most with friends. Um, and a little bit of Bad Company, I think, I used to play when I was in different 
clans and stuff like that. But that's it, guys, for this video. Um, this is Gun Master. It's pretty similar to Gun Game in Black Ops 2. Slightly different. It's pretty battle for your own take on it. But I really enjoyed this game. And I think this was actually the second match, I think. I recorded two of these, and the first one I got the achievement, so I may upload that, I don't know. But yeah, I really like this game mode, and it's a good way actually to see what sort of different weapons are like, um, because it is quite difficult to level up and get them. I think I'm level 28 or something now, so I will be trying to get um, to top level. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. As always, I've been Metalhead Lee, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!